Hi, this is PDF Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and this is tutorial 260. Uh, so where we left off in our last one, we're going ahead and setting up the the tributes for our mom. And uh, we were just setting them to 100 by default. And then I was trying to set them up to some sort of random and you could usually do random.range. And I'm getting a problem here and the problem is that there's a random method in both system and Unity Engine and you have to pick one that you actually want to use. So I'm going to come down here and I'm actually going to prefix it with unity engine dot and then I'll pick the random from there and then we can get to the range. And of course, if you want to use the one that's built into uh, mono instead, you could use uh, system instead of unity engine, but I'm going to stick with the unity engine one. And anyway, so we have to give some default values here. So for min, I'm going to do 50. And for max, I'm going to do 101, because uh, remember, it it does um, up to one less than whatever it is you put here for using integers, uh, which I am. So basically, my range is actually 50 to 100. And I'm going to go ahead and save this off. And we'll go ahead and start. And there we go. Everything should be within 50 to 100. I'm still not quite happy with... Uh, the height and width or yeah the the spacing and the lines so I'm actually going to go down to 15 and again you know just season this to whatever display you're using I'm sure if I was at a higher resolution it'd be perfectly fine well 15 is obviously too small if we actually look at it there's yeah I'm just going to stick with 20 20 seems to be the best and of course it's also going to depend on the font you're using and since this is only for debugging it really doesn't matter I just tend to get a little preoccupied by it so Let's put it back to 20. And there we go. Uh, next, I want to actually start doing the vitals. So honestly, since there's only one line there, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete my curly braces. Uh, generally, if there's only one line, I just don't use curly braces. It just saves a bit of room. And uh, for me, visually, it just adds less clutter. And for those coming from Python or using boot, probably you're a little bit more familiar with the syntax. Uh, but anyway, the next thing we're going to do is the exact same thing, except instead of using a tribute name, uh, we're going to be looking at the vitals. So I'm going to say vital name. And usually I like to leave a little space in between. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, for some reason, I just like to. Again, it's just more visually pleasing to me, but that's a small thing. But anyway, so we're going to go through. Uh, we're going to do the type of vital name. Uh, we're going to increase it by one each time. And basically, all you have to do is just go through, change the vital name or the attribute name uh, to vital name. And then here, uh, we got a different method. I'm not sure what it's called, but we should be able to get it. Let's say get vital. Yep. And it should work the exact same as get primary attribute. Uh, probably. Well, actually, yeah, it might have a base value or it could be adjusted base value, but I'm going to want to output this a little bit differently. And I'm going to want to output it in the format of, you know, the current value and the max value. So let's go ahead. There should be a current value here. There we go. I'm going to append on to that uh, a slash in the middle. And yeah, let's leave some spaces in the slash there. Then I'm going to go ahead and append on to that the get vital here, let's just copy this. Well, it really doesn't matter. It's only really a couple more keystrokes. And then we want the max value. And we didn't call it max value. So let's take a look here. Uh, it could be adjusted base value. There we go. And I think that's all I want for there. So if we go ahead, save this off, it's still not going to work because if you actually look here, uh, it's going to be overwriting the exact same sp space that uh, our attributes occupy. So we actually have to move this down. And I'm actually going to go ahead and come down here and just say line height. We'll make it an integer. I'm just going to call it LH. And I'm going to make this equal to 20. And... Uh, all I'm doing here is just uh, replacing this value here uh, just because I since I am going to be adding more and more things that uh, rely on it uh, it's just easier to modify 
So we're going to want to go ahead and append onto this even more. So we still want to go 10 from the top. We want to move down that much. Plus, we also want to move down uh, the number of attributes we have. And we're going to multiply this by LH as well. That should get us to the spot we want to be in. I have an error here, so let me just check. Comma, 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 comma. We need one more close, it looks like. There we go. Uh, we're getting some errors, that's fine. Uh, we got a star here. Okay, I'm going to see what's the star. And I did this part wrong. Let me just completely undo that. All right, so we want to append on to it. Uh, we're going to come up here, get this whole thing. I forgot to grab the dot length, it looks like. And I'm going to post it in here, multiply it by LH, save it off, uh, and they all go away. There we go. Cut and paste errors. Uh, there we go, but we'll notice that it's uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0. Uh, that shouldn't be like that, right? And that's because if we look at this next line that we have commented out, and if we actually go ahead and just actually uncommented, it should update our health. Uh, it should be calling the update method on our health. And if we start it up, it does as far as setting the, the um, base value. But I believe we actually created another method. I'm going to go ahead and comment that again. And our base class called stat update, which I think did all of them. Oops, did not mean to modify it. I wanted to search through it and just call stat up. Yeah, right here. And if you look here, it goes ahead and actually calls all the updates for our vitals and our skills. And while we don't actually have the skills being displayed just yet, uh, you know, just, we'll go ahead and add it. And when we do actually have the skills being displayed, this should automatically be updated. So I'm gonna come back in and we're gonna call that method instead. So stat update, uh, we'll just get rid of the old one. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that extra space, put an extra one here. Uh, everything looks okay right now. So let's see if should we, there should not be any errors. We'll go ahead and clear those warnings and we'll start it up. And there we go, we now have the bases done. So what about this uh, current value? How are we gonna set that up? Well, we actually don't have anything in our class to do that. And if we actually went ahead and looked at our character generator script, uh, I'm not exactly sure where we have it in here, but we'll, when we're saving it off, we're actually saving, uh, like when it's first created, the uh, base value as the uh, current value. So I'm gonna come in here, and after stat update, I want another loop. And I'm gonna wanna loop through the vitals. Uh, since the mob is first, is this is the first time he's being created in our world, uh, let's actually start him off with um, full health and mana and stamina. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say, well, we don't want to go through, we're going to want to get the actual uh, vital here. Uh, so we can actually just, whoops, grab this line here. Uh, having a little bit of trouble selecting it. For some reason, my mouse is uh, getting sticky. Uh, we'll go ahead and paste this in here. So we're going to grab the current value and make it equal to, I'm actually just going to type this one out, uh, get vital cnt dot adjusted base value. So basically he starts off, if he has 100 health max, he starts off at 100 health current. And this should do it for this one. Uh, there we go. So of course, you know, as he takes damage, the, the current goes down. And of course, we keep checking to make sure that you know, the, the current is always above zero. Uh, but anyway, there we go. We'll get the, the health displaying. And you can see that we probably could add an extra one or two pixels to uh, the line height. The G is the G and the Y is actually getting a little cut off, but it's just for debug. It doesn't have to look pretty. All right, so let's close that down. 
And it looks like we're right at about 10 minutes here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here. we got the mob vitals working in this one. And in the next one, we'll go ahead and we'll start playing around with uh, their skills. Anyway, thanks for watching. And like always, you know, if you like these videos, make sure you uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, that really helps me out and uh, lets me know that you want to see more. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.